Hey guys, from the road with Warva, back with you again. Um, <clears throat> so for me, it's the same day as when I left you last, but I have actually moved down the road a little ways. I'm getting a little closer. Eight miles from the state line of Arizona. I'm still in New Mexico. It is cold. Um, sun's pretty much setting or set already. Um, yeah, I guess I'll show you guys around a little. Found this little uh, rest stop. I mean, it's not the cleanest place I've ever seen, but there is uh, another camper here, and there's one over by the trees right there as well. Probably still surrounded by mountains and some clouds. I think it's going to be cold this evening, but hopefully it's not going to be freezing. Anyway, yeah, there's not much to it. It's just a rest area. Kemado, New Mexico is where we are. It's spelled with a Q, but it's Kemado. Anyway, just uh, wanted to jump back in again. I think it's a little less windy than it was. I can still feel some wind, so hopefully it's not too crazy. But um, yeah, I uh, kind of never filled in last time where I left from. So when I last video oh my gosh like a year or more ago now i was in um spring branch over to texas when i got a travel trip and i moved and relocated up to the dfw area and i got a job up there and then i got really really busy that's the job i have now um i went remote again and i moved back south and somewhere in all of that i changed rvs a bunch of times and then ended up in a place called beeville texas and then decided that I wanted to try to hit the road and I, my intention was to, I went north to visit a friend in the DFW area. Then once I'd done that, I cut across Texas, you know, through Amarillo and then into New Mexico where I discovered it was a very windy um, in that part of New Mexico. And I just kind of slowed things down a little bit. There was just no hurry to rush. I was going to dip into Colorado, but with the temperatures dropping, and now I'm just trying to get across, you know, New Mexico without going too fast, but being, you know, aware of what the weather is going to be. So with that being said, um, kind of missed most of New Mexico. I checked out a few places. I went to Roswell. I went to St. John, to Concari, a few other places where I had stopped at. Most of the places, if not all the places I have stayed, but one place has been free. Um, so I've not had to spend anything on anywhere that I've stayed. Um, and I'll discuss it a little further in like another video, but I do have a, you know, power setup and propane and tanks and all that kind of stuff. So I am fully self-contained in this, this van, which is a, uh, it's an old 92 Dodge Coachman. I got it for an okay price, but the guy I bought it off didn't exactly tell the truth. And I've just been making it work and so far it's it's got me this far all the way from almost to corpus christi all the way up through north texas across and then back down and then now across almost into arizona but i'm eight miles from the state line um the plan is to cross over into i think it's springerville arizona tomorrow um i do work full time during the day um so i just when i find a site i just need to make sure that i have cell service in order to be able to work which so far in most places that i've been it hasn't been uh, too much of an issue i have my primary at&t but then i do have a backup uh, which i got when i was in beville which is the t-mobile home internet and um, i've been traveling with that and it has been working up until now but the further west we go the more the at&t is coming through and the t-mobile not so much Anyway, so I work full-time remote, I, I work in IT, so I just have to make sure that I have um, self-service to be able to work, and then I'm just being aware of the time zone as well, because I still work based on central time zone. Um, and if anybody knows me personally, I am not a morning person. So the further west I go, the earlier I start. I know the time zone changes this weekend, because Arizona doesn't follow daylight savings, and everything, you know, that daylight savings time ends everywhere else which will put arizona back on mountain time which is what i'm on right now anyway i think i've still 
at elevation. I haven't checked where I'm at, but I am definitely getting a little winded at elevation. I know Pi Time was at 7,600 feet. I don't know where I am now, what that's at. I'm going to check when I get done, but uh, it's probably around the same, um, give or take a couple of hundred feet. Anyway, yeah, it's well, I'm losing daylight. I'm probably getting really hard to see. It's pretty dark. Um, well, except for the sun in the background, but facing the other direction, not so great. Anyway, I am going to head back inside. Um, and um, yeah, I guess I'll um, maybe give you a little bit of an inside tour. Um, it's a little cold out here, so I'm going to go inside and we'll, I'll show you around just a quick tour of everything. And then on my next one, I'll kind of go over the outside and the power setup and everything else I got going on. So yeah, all right, I shall see you inside. Well, I'm officially inside. Uh, I don't know how the lighting is. I'm going to kind of turn on lights as I go along. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, turn the camera around, and uh, we'll get the tour started, I guess. All right. So this is... Let me back up a little bit. So this is like the entrance where I come in. I keep my cat litter box there. This is the monitor that I explained in the last minute video that I use for work. I kind of rarely use it though I work off my laptop most of the time and I don't really sit here I just try to keep the back warm anyway um there is a 12 volt compressor fridge that I put in um the original fridge works in this thing but it's not the most reliable and you have to be completely level um so I opted to get this. I got an okay deal on it. I, I, it wasn't the best deal in the world, but I mean, it was less than if I bought it completely new. And it did come with this cover, which is really good. This kind of sips power. It's not too bad. Um, I'll show you a quick view of the inside. I just keep water in the back and then I just keep my eggs, milk, sandwich, meats, you know, everything in the front there. Um, that just kind of probably can't see under here, but uh, here, let me, let me open this door. There we go. So that's like the driving quarters i put up the reflectix to keep the you know help with the heat and the privacy same with these uh and that's gonna have to be repaired this little tack is coming out but uh i put up these curtains just for privacy and try to keep the heat in a little bit but yeah this is the the driving area as i said there's not much to it it's an old 92 dodge b350 it runs it drives it squeaks it creaks what more do you want to know um so anyway i'm gonna close this dock that's cold and then directly yeah this gets hard to do directly behind it uh the driver's seat is a bunch of storage which is which is good to have in this van because i wasn't expecting to have like a full-on closet and really i don't use it to hang anything i just keep um mostly electronics and stuff that i don't really use and then i keep some cleaning products below hey kitty um that I do have an onboard generator, so there's the control that only had 56 hours on it. Um, it's supposed to tell you how many miles this had, so when I bought it, it had 67,000. Um, and I've not had it too long, but anyway, here is my, um, I guess you could say control center. For some reason, this thing did not come with um, uh, sensors and stuff, but... Uh, I don't know why, maybe it was just the trim level, but I manage, there's water pump control, 12 volts, uh, inside outside lights, you know, that kind of stuff, temperature gauge right here. Anyway, that's enough of that. I have more storage up here. I keep clothing inside of here mostly. Um, T-shirts, you know, pants, that kind of stuff. Um, and then, if I don't step on the cat, um, here's my little, well, kitchenette i guess i got my little stove here it's uh it's all propane um a little bit of penary storage above i just keep spices and cups and stuff in there um and then here's that inbuilt fridge i told you about it does work so i don't want to pull it out but i just use it to put like uh i store like my extra water canned goods stuff like that just sit in here um, it's not on, I'm just kind of using it as a closet. Um, this is 
where I where the, there was a couple of drawers here and I put in any water here in this thing because it only had a water dispenser so this is the control for that and there's a water heater behind here that is electric I do start the generator for that but I only run it maybe 50 minutes a day so it's not bad at all um, anyway um, that's the kitchen as I mentioned before um, let me see if I can get a little more light so as I come around here Everybody sent a toilet before, but that's the toilet, and I kind of put in that shelf to hold toilet paper and all that kind of stuff. Carbon monoxide, uh, propane heater control, um, yeah, a fire extinguisher, just the, the basic general stuff. Anyway, um, I'm going to come back here where it's dark. Hey, Katie. For those of you who don't know, this is Doss Katie. She's very, very vocal. She's getting on an age now she's become the perfect traveling kitty and she keeps me nice and warm at night and she loves people she loves staring at the window too anyway i got um a microwave here um i keep my toiletries silverware all that kind of stuff here this side it's kind of a little pantry to keep food in i keep some plates and bowls in there and then this is where i sleep this used to have a bed that like this whole thing folded out but it took up way too much room it wasn't that comfortable, so I cut a foam mattress to size, and I lay across that way just perfectly. But, yeah, it's a little messy in here right now, but, you know, I'm traveling. Um, I edit this AC unit, which obviously I'm not using right now. That was mainly when I was, you know, down in Texas heat. It used to have one on the roof, but that stopped working, and I ended up mounting this. And no, it doesn't fall out, fall out driving down the road. It's mounted from the inside going out. So if it was to fail, it would fall in. Um, so if I sit on the bed right here, I, you know, just standard stuff. I got my TV, sound bar. Um, I'll go into this a little more, but down here is my solar power control system and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to give a tour inside of this thing. Um, but yeah, if I uh, just lean back here, you can kind of get a idea for the kind of space that I'm living in and uh, it's working pretty well. Um, and if I come up front and sit down here, it's kind of from the front side and that's, that's where I came in the door. So yeah, yep, there's not much, not much to it, but I will out bunking my head on the ceiling i can't stand up but as you get close to the back it does get a little hotter because the roof slopes down anyway so i mean that's all i really had for today i just thought i'd you know throw out another video while i wasn't um doing a lot i'm gonna cook dinner now um and then settle in for the evening and then uh by the time i think you see my next video i should be in Arizona and the spring of Valeria. I'm trying to stay ahead of the weather, but that is proving a little bit difficult, um, depending on how much driving I want to work. And as you know, working a regular 40 hour work week makes it a little more challenging to then want to drive in the evening, um, especially when it gets dark. Um, and it's getting darker sooner because, you know, it's getting into winter. And, and now with the, with the clocks changing, it's gonna get, I think it's gonna get dark even sooner. So yeah, it's gonna be a, a challenge and I probably won't move a lot during the week other than maybe locally within a certain radius. And then on the weekends, I'll kind of change areas. But I had thought of going down to quad site. I'm not too sure yet. I'm still trying to debate on that. People say yay, people say nay. If you've been down there, you see this video, I'd appreciate some feedback on that. Um, for sure um because that is a bit of a drive from here um anyway uh that's it for now um i will see you guys when i get to to arizona i guess hey kitty you want to say hi <laughs> as i said very vocal anyway um you guys have a good evening and i'll talk to you soon bye Thank you.